We sold basically everything to begin our dream of traveling the country full time in an RV. This back here is our new home. I uploaded a video of when we went to go get it. If you didn't see, click up here. I'll leave it down in the description. We have been nonstop working to get this thing ready, getting everything out of our apartment and selling a bunch of stuff. We are two days away. Originally, we wanted to leave tomorrow. So yeah, we are two days away. Today, I want to show you guys a full tour of our house on wheels. It is like feels crazy even saying that, but we're going to talk about like what we're doing too. And then tomorrow, we're going to be doing stuff to this truck. I think I'll put that in a different video. But yeah, and then at the end, of this video we have a little something special for y'all all right yeah welcome officially to our house let me turn these lights on uh, where's the button right there boom so we're still like kind of putting the finishing touches on everything i don't know this stuff's got to go somewhere but this is it man i'm so freaking like it's just, it's a weird feeling this channel you know is named first state fishing i've lived in delaware my whole life besides the four years that i went to college in pennsylvania but ever since i started this channel i've lived in delaware i've traveled a bunch though you guys seem to really enjoy those videos i really like doing it i said it before man if there's two things i could do in this lifetime one is fishing obviously and then two is traveling with kelsey this is like a dream of mine and ours and you know we were like maybe we could do this someday but it's it's, it's crazy i just have no other words for it it's crazy i genuinely appreciate each and every one of you guys for all the freaking support without you guys you know none of this would be possible we got the mohana vibes and i mean you guys are family i mean that's what it comes down to if you guys are wondering i'm extremely nervous we don't really know like what we're doing we're just kind of going into it there's so much stuff that goes into something like this and just rving in general that i did not know about so if you guys you know do have any tips or anything let me know down in the comment section below we are going to be learning together man but today i want to give you guys a tour man i showed you all a quick walkthrough in the video where we got it but we had absolutely nothing in here we didn't know where anything was going to go we have made a lot of progress there's still a little bit of things that need to be done but for the most part like you guys will get the idea and we'll kind of walk around the outside hopefully this rain stops we have been having brutal weather here in delaware real field during the day has been straight brick like let me tell you man it was like 19 degrees wind howling constantly oh my gosh it like hurt dude 39 degrees in the camper we don't have like the electric or the uh anything set up but yeah i mean for right now we're just in a parking lot trying to put stuff in and get everything together let me stop talking man let's give you guys nice little tour here of the place we're gonna be traveling and living for the next i like who knows how long all right so let's start kind of in this area if you do a quick pan around if you guys saw the first video you guys probably already know this stuff right here we got our little entertainment center a pretty big freaking tv not sure if we're really even going to be using this stuff it's solid. but yeah so we have some speaker action we got an aux cable and stuff this actually connects to bluetooth and you can play the radio and stuff on it one is inside and two you can start playing stuff on the outside of the camper you could uh, have a little block party with your camper neighbors we don't really know i was going to bring my xbox maybe but we are not exactly sure yet i don't even think we have yeah no we don't have anything these little storage compartments right here this thing's sick we have one of these in our apartment right now it's just like a fake kind of fireplace but it is sort of like a space heater if you have this connected to the electric you don't even have to use the propane like this will heat your whole camper up apparently a little plug right there i don't know if i said this or not in the last video but this whole area all the way over here this slides out so when we're driving this slides in and uh, there's like a button right here and it goes and this whole thing comes in but yeah over here we got the nice couch action kelsey added a nice little blanket right there got extra lighting these windows over here can also be open as well and i think there's a screen and a screen and then there's screens over there so you could have like all these open and we got the screened in so get like some nice breezy action again too this is pretty cool because if we ever have anybody stay with us this turns into a big old bed moving on we got some carpeting down here and then this look at this dude it's like a interesting i like the same thing over here it's like a chandelier <laughs> this i think is one of my favorite parts of this whole freaking thing though i think this is where i'm going to be spending a lot of time eating editing i feel like this is going to be my favorite spot we have storage down here one of these we're going to put campers food in i know that um but yeah they have bins down there and then this comes down into a big old bed as well kind of like can lay flat across like that and then you put the table down somehow this is nice i like this here's like a nice little pov action we got some trout cooking up over there we're in the mountains right now look at this freaking mount everest outside it's just so cool but so weird like i cannot imagine us living in here like it's gonna be in two days but it just is it's, I, I don't know it's like surreal right now again that window over there and that window opens up i'm not gonna open it right now just i, I don't know got some nice cabinet space um storage for storage towel action in here again man this is one of my favorite parts of this whole freaking thing big old freaking refrigerator Ugh. Big old freaking freezer, dude. We are going to be eating good. I mean, this was one of my biggest concerns about getting a camper. We're going to be living full time out of it. 
It's just that like we need like food. This is actually a 12 volt fridge. So this runs off of our battery. We have two batteries and this thing is pretty much always gonna be on whether we're plugged into the truck that'll help charge the batteries. Or we also have a solar panel on the roof that helps charge the batteries. And then yeah, the fridge will always be on this. <laughs> Tell you man, this thing's gonna be freaking stuff. We're gonna drive this thing to Alaska. I'm gonna hand pick some freaking king crabs, load this thing, freaking salmon, halibut. We're gonna load this thing out of Louisiana with some crawfish. Moving over to the kitchen. Again, the chef first state station. Low key though, I probably am going to be cooking outside mostly because we have an induction cooktop that I didn't show you guys last time. And just like, I don't know, this is a small space. I don't want to like completely stank up our whole living quarters if I'm, I don't know. Let's start right over here though. It's solid. Nice little micro microwave. We have a stove. Oh, look at that. And an oven. Kelsey got these nice uh, towels. I don't really know if we're going to be using this that much. A lot of the times we cook, like if Kelsey cooks a lot, she uses the Instapot. Yeah, we have that cooktop outside. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. Oh, look at that, man. Catch a cook city right here. Hello? Where's the other one? As I said, man, salmon, trout, halibut, goldfish. If it's swimming, man, we're going to catch it and cook it. A little hot Cheeto spreading will make anything taste good. Hello? Those are hard to open. Scissors, utensils, and then down here. Yeah. We actually added this yesterday. Basically, we're just trying to like figure out a way to store everything without like when we drive, we don't want everything banging around and everything. Like this cannot be sitting there. You know, thank you, Kelsey. That is a very nice message. But that's got to like go somewhere. That Instapot, we might even need to buckle down. So we were at the store and we ended up putting this thing in here. It just kind of organizes all of this stuff. Over here, this is just, uh, yeah, I don't know. We had to get like some unbreakable kind of bowls. We got some cups. And I think this is the money over here. Yeah. It's not like loaded yet. I think we are going to end up putting some little push lights in here. But this is like, this is going to be, you know, you're hungry late at night or, you know, whenever you come in here, um, there's breadcrumbs. <laughs> We're going to have to stock this up. But hopefully there's going to be some good snacks in here, man. Right now it's like spaghetti and rice and corn. It's just been getting like so cold at night. We don't want anything that we put in here to just freeze or I don't know. That is pretty much whole this whole area. If you guys remember last time we had two of these recliner chairs, we actually took one out. That does give us less seating, but we're gonna push this over and then we're actually gonna put Camper's dog crate right here. He's crate trained, so he's gonna like sleep over here and that'll just give us some more like area to be in. But just, just look, look at this, dude. Coming over this way now. I think I showed you guys the bathroom last time kinda-ish. This is what we kinda got going on right now. All right, so here's the shower. It's actually decent size. Like my head doesn't even go through the roof really. You can open this up and that fan will help ventilate. But this actually, there's a thing here. You can close that. We have the throne. This is what it looks like before anybody has ever used it. Special RV toilet paper. Did you, did you guys know you have to have special toilet paper for RV? There's like a lot of random stuff like that where if you don't use the right stuff, you could bust your whole crap up. We have a big old pantry right there we've got some tissues sink towel a solid it's just like so freaking weird to me that we're gonna be like living in this thing man storage and i don't know if you guys saw in the last video but this was just like a big empty space we actually found this at the store and kelsey put this here this fits like a freaking glove dude we could put a bunch of like stuff yeah i don't know so yeah and we got a little plug-in and this little doohickey right here i didn't even know Hello? How do you turn that on? I didn't even know there's a light in here. Oh, and there's this thing in here too. Coming out of the bathroom, we're gonna be going this way. If you guys are up for the last video. Oh, it is dark in here. All right, these windows open too. I'm not really, I, I don't know. I don't need to open them, I don't think. There's a screen in there too. Uh, I don't even know if you can see that. But that screen will kind of allow like, if we want to open it, it'll allow like nice little cross breeze in here. I think most of, yeah, it's got all the clothes up here up here hoodies we got clothes in that one uh this thing oh yeah so dude, this is like really nice to have this big old freaking closet right here this actually has a light i didn't even know that uh yeah no that's a lot of freaking stuff we got here we also have a little hanger dude right there the thing is like i know people um put sometimes like a washer and dryer in here i don't know we just we just have a lot of clothes if we need to get them cleaned which we're gonna end up having to get them clean it's not that big of a deal we'll just go to a laundry mat or like hand clean them or something i think kelsey said this is gonna be my side too so we have like storage down in there and we got like some plugs and stuff a little late night editing session and then there's also a big space over there i don't even know if you guys see that or not. under the bed oh Oh gosh. We have a bunch of storage things under the bed too, the bunch of stuff's in. And then yeah, speaking of this bed, we actually made it a lot. Oh, still a little firm. I like a good firm bed though. We made this thing a lot nicer. I think she put an eggshell crate and then something else on it. I think a mattress topper thingy. Yeah, man, this is the bed. Oh, there's like, ow, that is bright, dude. I didn't even know that. So we got a light there. We got a light there. This is the uh, 
bedroom, man. I guess we could put a TV in here, but I, I really don't care about that. Another thing, too, we also have uh, two air conditioning. So we have one in this room right here, which is actually pretty nice. When we are in hot areas, like the middle of the desert, we'll use that. Or in, like, Florida or something. Ooh, I don't know if y'all can tell or not, but my brain is a little fuzzy, man. There's been a lot of stuff going on. So, as I said before, we're going to be going on the ultimate fishing road trip. I can stop and fish with you guys along the way. We're going to explore new places, new fisheries, catch some new species of fish, catch and cook some new species of fish, or crab or clams or literally whatever. All I know is that we are going to make some epic videos. As I also said, too, I want to eat some fire food, man. Bring you guys some food vlog content. I want to eat lobster in Maine. I want to eat a crawfish boil in the bio. King crab in Alaska. That's like one of the top of my list. Can you freaking imagine, dude, catch and cook king crab? Also, man, I've said this before too, but we're going to be uploading everything not fishing related on the second channel. I'll put a card to that up here and I'll also put down in the description below. Kelsey, me, and Camper are just going to be doing a lot of cool stuff. Not all of it's going to be, you know, fishing related. So we're going to be putting stuff on that channel. It's just like crazy, man. At this point in our lives, you know, we have the opportunity to do something like this. Yes, it has been and will continue to be very expensive. Yes, it is a lot of sunk money into depreciating assets. Sets. No, we don't really have an idea of what we're doing when it comes to all this stuff. They're like, we're literally learning every day. There's so much that goes into the RV. The experiences are going to be worth it, man. These videos are going to be so sick. 2021 is going to be a heck of a year. Okay, I think it like stopped raining kind of ish. We got like a slight little drizzle. But here she is, man. Look, it's just freaking beautiful. If y'all want to know, this is a Vibe 26 RK for Forest River. This is not like a partnership. We're not sponsored or anything. We just bought this. Just like with the truck, the Chevy, man, we recently got that. I know some people would be like, oh, you should have got this, you should have got that. This is what was in our budget. This is what we like. And you know what I mean? Buy what you like. I, I really like our home. Hold on, man. actually, let me show you something real quick. I think if we go in here, do a little one of Boop. I don't even know if you guys can see that now. We got some LEDs turned on. Now this awning actually comes out. All right, it's starting to drizzle a lot more. When we get to our first campground, we'll do like a full, full tour. We'll have the awning all out and we'll show you guys everything on the outside and everything. But yeah, basically, I mean, this is a freaking big old awning. We have uh, speakers out here, so we can actually play the music out here as I was saying. These are the steps. We got the wheels right here. We actually just got a tire pressure monitoring, monitoring system we have to install. And now we actually just got a big old generator too. It's like 100 pounds. And uh, we also have some stuff coming from my truck. That's what kind of delayed us a little bit. Like this shipment and postal services are all kind of messed up. We have a lot of stuff that we're going to be doing to the truck because I want to take my kayaks with us. That's like a big thing. I guess I'll end up showing you guys this at the campground. This is like a sink basin and also a shower. It's got like a hose and also this is where like you could cook outside on the uh, induction cooktop basically like if you put a metal pan on the induction it's supposed to heat it super freaking fast i never used one of them before so that will be interesting here's a look down below we have some stabilizing jacks and we're, we're still learning about some stuff i'm not gonna go too into detail here is the rear bumper back here too we also have another shower which we really 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 wanted a uh, outdoor shower because First of all, I've got all this fishing gear. We're going to have the kayaks and we have the freaking dog. And the thing about our dog, he just likes to swim and also get dirty. So that's like a big old thing we want. On the outside, here's what the slide looks like when it's out. So basically when it's in, it comes like, yeah, that and then we can drive with it. This is uh, where we're plugging up for electric, either a generator or at the campground or whatever. And then, yeah, basically uh, these are all our water connections. We got the poop chute, water connection. This over here, this actually goes through to the other side. There's a big old like store storage space. And yeah, we got the batteries, we got the propane tanks. And this right here is the big mama. This is a four point sway control equalizer hitch. Kelsey and I, we've put this thing on and taken it off a couple times now, but this is, I mean, you could just see it. <laughs> it's freaking heavy duty, dude. And then, uh, yeah, when we drive, this connects into the truck. And this is just kind of what the truck bed looks right now. As I said, we're going to be doing some stuff to this. And yeah, we got some wood. That's what we put uh, this thing on. Next video, though, you guys can see what we're doing. Ah, we're getting soaked. But yeah, that's a little bit deeper in depth of a review. I think this actually is a screen door too. Um, how does this work? I'm not exactly sure, but this goes out and then yeah, that'll just be like a screen. So as I said, man, two days we will be on our way down to Florida. We're gonna be making a couple stops and also in Florida, we're gonna be meeting up with some fishing YouTubers that you guys have seen before on the channel. And then yeah, we're gonna spend a decent amount of time in Florida. My sister lives there, so we might actually end up storing the RV and just staying for a couple weeks in Florida just so I can stock up on videos because Florida is warm. Delaware is just in the winter time, man, especially January, February, it's like, not the easiest. I mean, the ponds are all frozen over right now, but like barely frozen over. You can't walk on it, but you can't cast a lure there either. So that's the thing. If you live in Florida or on the way down to Florida, or I think we're going left after Florida, like we're going to go back up, maybe hit a little bit of Alabama and then Louisiana and then keep going left. If you live in any of these areas over the next few months and you want to fish, you got some cool fishing near you or your captain or something, I'll leave an email on the screen right here. Definitely feel free to send an email. I want to fish with as many of you guys 
guys as possible just leave in the uh, subject of the email like the state that you live in so it'll be easier for me to find it and yeah i mean not just those states if you guys live anywhere in the u.s you guys have a cool fishing opportunity you guys just want to get out send an email to that email let me know hopefully i can fish with many of you guys as possible if you guys have not already though please make sure to go down there hit that thumbs up button on this video and make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so youtube actually lets you know when i put out a new video and you guys can keep along with this journey you guys are literally on this journey with me i have no freaking clue what i'm doing i'll be turning to you guys for a lot of stuff whether it's what fish i should go for what i should do for videos catch cooks whether it's fishing with you guys there's like a lot of different things i just can't wait man i want to make these videos the best as they possibly can i'm telling you you guys are literally along this adventure with me that's how these videos are gonna go that's how the series is gonna go i cannot i just cannot wait <laughs> interesting thing though i don't know where this came from uh i guess they found this the other day when they were cleaning the rv they're pumping out so many rvs especially this year that i'm gonna have to make sure every little thing is completely perfect in this that's why we got the tire pressure sensor too but i just want to make sure all the screws and just everything is tightened down everything's fast and everything's completely safe also i didn't mention this but it's been so freaking cold here we've had this for I guess, what, over a month, right? Maybe, not really. I don't know, we had this for a little while. We were paying to put it in storage here, but this is actually winterized. They put like special RV antifreeze throughout all the pipes. So we actually haven't tested the pipes yet. So uh, when I guess we do, that'll be interesting. It was actually snowing here yesterday too, but yeah, that's another adventure. There's a lot of stuff we're learning, man. Since we've been talking in here, it's gone up a little bit. Science. Y'all ready for this? Sheesh, so that's what it looks <laughs> Look how tight that is. So that's what it looks like with the slide in. I mean, it's still kind of spacious. Like we can still sleep over here and stuff. You know what's crazy is that the whole time I live here, I never gave you guys like a full apartment tour. I really haven't filmed the apartment much, but that's just because there are some weirdos out there. I remember I talked to some people from Delaware and they were like, yo, we were trying to figure out what apartment you moved in, like what complex. And I was just like, why? I don't know. I know most of you guys out there are good people, but there's just some weirdos out there. But I guess I'll run through a quick tour super fast. Everything's just kind of all over the place. But this right here was my office. I had a desk over there. That's where I'd be editing. And this is where I filmed like a lot of the outros for my videos. So right now we got camera stuff over there, camera stuff over there, fishing stuff, fishing stuff, fishing stuff. Look, we got so many freaking soft plastics. If y'all know me, man, I've never been the most like organized when it comes to my fishing tackle, but look at what we got here. I know I've been talking about it in some of these videos. Look at this, man. I am very proud of this. So this is the spinner bait box. I never actually owned a box like specifically for spinner baits before. This is just a random panfish box. It's another empty box. Jigs and shatter baits. This one is swim baits and jerk baits. Tell me, I've never been this organized before in my life. You guys will see why I'm doing this here in a little bit. I mean, obviously because we're moving an RV and we're gonna have limited space and stuff, but this is gonna fit perfectly in something I'm getting for my truck. And this is uh, top water, so this is mostly frogs. We got some interesting Little frog, shout out to my buddy Jimmy. He gave me this like Angry Birds frog one time. But yeah, we got mini ploppers, we got big plopper, we got a spook jitterbug. This dude's full of wine, and then this one right here. Oh, this is my saltwater one. This one, <laughs> you guys know me, man. Especially here in Delaware in the spring, fall months, lipless crankbaits. I'm like so freaking proud of this box right here. Does one person need all of these lipless crankbaits? Probably not. Uh, we've got a lot of striking red eye shad. Um, we got the Rapala ones. We got the trap right there. Just a bunch of different stuff. We got the big boys right there. I think I actually caught my PB in Delaware on one of these little dudes. Five pounds, three ounces. That's a freaking tank for Delaware, dude. Yeah, this took a little while to set up, but oh my gosh. I, I can show you Pete in this all box. This one's kind of a mess. Yeah, I mean, as you guys see, it's kind of a mess. We got some spoons, bucktails, big old popper. Here's some of the reels I'm going to be taking. Here are some of the rods I'm thinking about taking. I still got to figure all that out. A lot of you guys ask, like, where the rods and reels go from these challenge videos. This is a lot of them. At one point, like, I gave a bunch away locally. That kind of built back up. You guys can probably see if you guys watch the fishing challenges where a lot of these came from. This is Matsuo, came from the Walmart recent one. Let's see if I can remember. This was uh, Ali's, I believe this was Kmart, maybe uh, Cabela's. We also got some more rods over here as well. As well as, dude, I don't know if you, you guys knew this, but I used to be a sneakerhead back in the day. So this is just a bunch of random stuff. That used to be my hustle like years ago. I used to buy and resell sneakers. This was my office. Good times. I'm kind of just doing this for like documenting purposes as well. Later in life, it'll be interesting to see like our first apartment and everything. Let me show you guys a quick little tour just of everything. We got campers little puppy. Not the best lighting. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff everywhere. This is the uh, laundry room right there. Still got some stuff in there. This was one of the bathrooms. All this stuff is going to Goodwill. Oh, hi, buddy. 
Hello, you got an eye boogie. Y'all seen a lot of videos come from this kitchen. It looks like we still got a lot of stuff. I'm telling you, it's not like that much. Um, This is like the main living room. We actually have somebody buying this bed. They were supposed to buy it yesterday, so we moved it out here, but then we ended up sleeping here so we wouldn't have to sleep on the floor. Camper's crate, that was usually in the bedroom. We have a bigger TV that was from her parents. We gave that back. And then, yeah, I've been playing Rocket League and stuff on this. What are you doing? You got a skeleton? This is just the big old porch. Hello, sir. I don't know if you can stay out there. And then, yeah, over here, this is the uh, bedroom. This is actually completely cleaned out. There's like an echo and everything in here. Closet, completely cleaned out. Yeah, I don't know if you guys care about this or not, but it's more for just like remembrance purposes. Wow, this is super echoey in here. This is a uh, facade. This was our bathroom, man. That's so weird. I was trying to think of a cool way to give all these rods and reels away, like for a video or something. I don't know. If you guys have any ideas, let me know down in the comments below. Now, I did say at the end of this video, there is going to be a surprise. And just for watching to the end and just for all the support, man. As I said, I want to keep giving back to you guys as much as possible. I'm going to be giving y'all some fishing gear. All this stuff right here in this box, we are going to be giving away. This right here this is one of my favorite freaking lures. We caught some big old fish on this this fall. Yeah, all these baits right here. If you want to enter, man, all you got to do is go down there hit that thumbs up button make sure you subscribe to this channel with the notification bell turned on and just why wouldn't you want to be man this adventure is about to be freaking insane but you can also leave a comment down there as well just like let me know what types of fishing or what kind of videos you're excited for on this journey other than that man that is pretty much it here for this video today i still like find it hard to believe i like, think we own that that is our home and we're gonna be doing so much cool stuff it's not, it's not, it's not real, man. As always, just thank you guys so much for all the support. Stay tuned. Again, all I gotta say is let's keep this rolling, man. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.